Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. What's going on, everybody? Joined by Waleed. Hey, what's up, boys? And first time guest of the show, my dear friend, Steven. Steven, welcome to the show, my dude. Hey, thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Uh, Steven, we'll definitely get some more of your stuff here at the end of the episode and post your information, some streaming stuff that you have going on, which is really cool. But we are not going to bury the lead here. We are here to cover Love is Blind Season 3. This is week two. three. So this is episodes 8, 9, and 10 leading up to next week's, which is already crazy to say, season finale. Uh, a lot to go over this week. Some of the couples have reached the altar. We have gone through the Bachelor and Bachelorette parties. I'm not, I'm just going to start with this guy's yo f- <laughs> SK dude. Seriously. Like this, this guy, what this guy, where does he get off this whole season? She's been like pointing out all the reasons why it should probably, Hey, maybe I don't know if this makes a lot of sense. And I said last week and I hold to it. This dude knew he was going to school in a few months. Like, what did he expect? He expected some chick to just like, fall in love with him from the pods, hang out for a few weeks and just go move to Berkeley. Like Mr. Humble, maybe the whole have to fit in with her culture and meet the family and like shame at him because her family's not fully into it. Like don't blame them. That's called common sense. We're talking about that. Oh my God, uh, Brian, I'll start with you. And then guys, I'll like hear your reaction to what the hell happened. Well, I think like Raven kind of dodged the bullet because I oh, think she would have said no. I think even though she said she would say yes, I don't I don't think she would have said yes. I think she just said that to cover her ass. Uh, truth. So, I mean, it makes her look less of like bad guy than because I, I don't think a lot of people liked her on the season. Honestly, I, I actually have to disagree a little bit. I think she would have said yes, actually, partially because throughout the, the two weeks they've been married or engaged together, he's been giving her clues that he was fully ready to commit to her and like get on her program and actually make compromises to get on her end of the, of her life. Basically. I just don't think he was going to not go to Berkeley. No, I mean, yeah, that's, that's basically it though. I mean, yeah, but that's the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, the whole I, thing yeah. is that like, he's moved to California and they live in Dallas. And yeah. he even said in his like explanation, he was like, Oh, you know, you never even considered moving to California. Yeah. It's like, what? The whole thing is that like we they put us with people that live in the same city as us like that. They're taking one of biggest Brian's biggest criticisms is always the geography, right? They like this show tries to eliminate that. And Mm -hmm. he just kind of said, screw that. I'm still going to Cali. But Brian, like overall, though, like what do you think of SK's decision? Um, I mean, it's definitely annoying because he was probably one of the guys that I thought would be like, yes. And now I don't know. I don't I don't. I don't have any faith in anybody now. Like, that's the thing. I, I don't have faith in any single person. He I was like my thought, one sure. I, I honestly thought he was going to say yes, too. Oh, yeah, I that was an, I, guys, that had to be, I would have probably said power rankings, maybe the number one easiest yes. But, yeah, uh, like a confidence pool, he would be one. Oh, my God. Uh, I, thought, I, thought, I honestly thought he was so mesmerized by her beauty that he was just going to say yes to everything. So, in a way, I'm just like, okay, wow. Well. I mean, again, they they shouldn't be getting married, right? But, like, we do get invested. I'm just mad because he never put up a single objection the entire time. He did. And because of that, I thought she was going to say yes because he gave her the signs that, hey, he's okay with getting on her program completely. Girls like that usually. Yeah, I don't know. Steven, Steven, one, how shocked were you at the decision? And two, do you think he made the right decision? I actually, I was not that shocked that he did it. Uh, I think there was a lot of red flags throughout the the episodes up to that point, and I was kind of just expecting that, to be honest. Red so flags for him. Or red flags for him? He was clearly in awe over her beauty. Like that's clear. 100%. But 100%. but like uh, for example, like uh, there was the time where they had the discussion about him going to college in California, and she said something along the lines of like, oh, well, you should be paying half of the rent while you're gone. And I thought that was like, that was insane. Yeah, that was absolutely insane. Like, like, I understand if you were already living together and like it was like a further into the relationship, but like this is a little extreme to expect that. And I don't know, just her whole the vibe. It, yeah. She just seemed very high maintenance. And very high maintenance. A lot of high. Stuff. I think she's independent with that high maintenance, but like I think it's a different tier than he's expecting. Mm-hmm. I think she's. I get what you're saying. I totally agree with both you were saying. 
I think she's less high maintenance and more like just not flexible. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. I think she's she like, knows what she wants. This is and... what I'm doing. This is like what I feel yeah. comfortable with. Damned if you do or not. And I'm not saying that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh -huh. that's totally fine. She can feel that way. You can like, feel that way all you want, but you also have to feel the way that maybe he was like, you know what? I do think that like the family came a little. That's what hard. I was just about to say. Like it, the, the family, family did like, come in. on strong. And again, again, I don't fault anybody like for any kind of cultural thing or but like for so they know that that's not her vibe right and like it felt very like you, you, you can't tell her that she's gonna have to be submissive submissive in the relationship where in her mind i would say she's like i'm working he's going to school like in this moment like i not gonna be super submissive but yeah. i it, it just seemed like a weird thing that like because she's been very pleasant with everyone i don't know the whole thing that's where i thought like she may say no bro like i yeah. again that's where i thought we might be going with this whole thing but mm. that's why i'm just shocked at him i'm not mad that he made the decision like okay it's probably not going to work out yeah no duh but for my whole criticism of like then don't go in the show the same criticism guys i give to those bachelor or bachelorette people who go three quarters of the way through and then leave like don't come on you know what i mean mm -hmm. that's all just don't come on. That, that's it. That's my biggest criticism, and that's why this made me probably as mad as I did. Uh, well, but... yeah, just like my last thing I'm going to say on it yes. is, like, I don't think regardless if they both said yes anyway and it and they would have been married and everything, it wouldn't have worked out. Yeah, and, no shit. No, for, no. For, yeah. for, several, <laughs> for, for several reasons, but one of them, I feel like she's one of those girls who wants to wear the pants in the relationship. She seems like that. And honestly, it wasn't going to work because at the end of the day, it's like she would have she could lead him. Sure. But she'll lead him to the end of the relationship. That's just that's just how it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, it just the dynamic wasn't there. They saw from the beginning they weren't vibing. It was mm -hmm. they were buzzing. They liked each other. There was very good friendship vibes. I could totally see like they hugged on the altar. Yeah, she didn't they scream. ended fine, which is she didn't scream. That's why yeah. I agree with you, Bri. She probably was going to say no. Yeah, I think it was for face. I um, we need, This is one of those couples where like I need to see what happens in the reunion whenever that happens or after maybe you they stay together and just don't get married and see See if it can work out that way, yeah. but who knows? So next, she, uh, wait, 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 you know, she was putting the effort into the culture and all that stuff. And like, I think her friends didn't do her any service, but like <laughs> the in the end, I don't think it show. was going to work out. Yeah. And I think SK did the right move. Yeah. yeah. I think I we're all Go ahead. Isn't it funny how like every season now, like the people fall into the same mold of like, we get yeah. one of these, we get one of like somebody like this. It's like, it's yeah. funny how it's been like that. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, okay. A couple other things I want to talk about. Who did we leave off with at the, um, Bartiz and Bartiz, uh, cliffhanger. Okay. So Bartiz oh, yeah. and Nancy, um, uh, have not been a big Bartiz guy throughout the season, but they seem to maybe at least if this, the editing has been leading us to believe they're on a good positive swing. Very interesting. Um, I had them like falling off a cliff. <laughs> I have them kind of teetering back more in the middle and positive. Does anybody disagree? Does anyone think he's going to, one of them is going to say no. Uh, well, she said yes. And now we're waiting. Yeah. On well, you know, I, that sorry, was, do, do that we was, think he's going mm -hmm. to say no? I think it's a fake cliffhanger. That's what I thought. I think he's going to say yes. I think See, so too. I, I think yeah, he's going to say uh, yes. They do that where they like zoom in and they're like, oh man, it's such a, he's been waiting 20 Two seconds. Two knows in a row now. to start would be yeah. like, like oh, bad. Yeah. I think he'll say yes. I do. I think yeah. it's going to work. Oh, and, agree. Like, yeah, I like Nancy. Well, I mean, Nancy's I'll so tell much you right better. Now, yeah. I'll she tell you reminds, she I'm reminds me of like the, myself. like the girl next door, at least in my view of what the girl next door is. Like that's yeah. her mm -hmm. persona to me. Uh, I honestly don't think he deserves her. Agreed. But here we are. So <laughs> she's clearly head over heels for him. I think that their problems are a little bit bigger than they're kind of making them. Like the whole fact that he, well, when he was all like hung up on Raven and how like they were attractive to each other and everyone would come to the bars and look at them or whatever the hell his story was. I don't remember mm -hmm. what his, some weird thing he was talking about. He like, said it multiple things times. you should never bring up to you. Yeah, it was just so weird wife. and random. And 
And then there was the whole thing where he was like, oh, well, like, you're not really my type uh, physically and stuff. And it's just like, I, that is still a, an aspect of the relationship. Yeah. Like the whole idea is like, love is blind, but like, if you're not, if you're just going to tell her, you're not attracted to her, that should be a deal breaker to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, we saw frame. that last season come up a lot of times with the deep D stuff. It's like if you're just not attracted to somebody, just like don't dog she's yeah, stop leading them on. Clearly successful, like she's got her realtor situation. Like she's doing just fine. She, yeah. she I could find someone feel, who who could commit to her in all aspects. You know, I don't think it's that he doesn't find her attractive. He just found Raven more attractive. That's usually his type. Which he's got, got regret. He's got buyer's remorse. Yeah. But yeah, a maybe, better model. I think he had that feeling more at first, but I do feel like he's I agree. starting to come around on Nancy a lot more because she is Nancy's a really cool. She's mm-hmm. a really sweet girl, and I she's like Nancy. Girl. She's the best friend on the show. Laugh. I think it's it's. I agree it's, with you. It's it's adorable, joke, dude. <laughs> I would love to like, talk. Like, can to you, Nancy. you say one negative thing together, about her? Dude. Can anybody here say one negative thing about her? No, no. that's the thing. Like no. you can't. So she's like, got money. She's got investment. She's beautiful. Like she's like takes things on the chin it seems like because like he's giving her some crap she stands yeah. up for her opinions whether you agree with them or not like mm. whatever man i'm all i'm down with nancy um i do want to run through a few of the other couples really quickly guys on the way out um all right so colleen <laughs> god <laughs> um, i can't even colleen and matt <laughs> Is she the ballerina yes. yeah she's the ballerina. Oh, right she's right the, you know hardo Dude, I always forget. Bags. Like he's like the Genevieve. If you watch Bachelor in Paradise of this show, he he threatens to leave like every other week. He yells. He gets he gets uh, jealous because he got cheated on. Like, bro, we know. He brings it up every <laughs> confessional. We get it. I, I if I were her, I would say no. Yeah, me too. He I'm looks sorry. like he has a lot of problems. Uh, like he clearly can't handle his booze. Because he thank gets you, drunk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and then you. he gets dramatic. He's a toxic drunk. That's yeah. the first thing I noticed. Yeah, eyes, dude. <laughs> yep. He he goes for the hard arguments and gets very combative when he gets drunk. You could tell at one of the episodes that he's drunk and, and mm-hmm. like it's always when he's arguing. Yelling at her on the phone. Yeah. yeah. Wally, do you like do you how do you feel about them? Do you think they have a shot? Um, I think uh God, it's it's that's a complicated one, you know. It is a tough one. <laughs> it <laughs> is a hard one. Perfect reaction. They get hundred percent. I think I can understand kind of where he's coming from because he doesn't want to be made to look like a fool again. Because yeah. like his situation wasn't that he just got cheated on. Like his girl, yeah, like his pregnant. girl got pregnant with yeah. the guy. Like he doesn't want to be made to look like a fool. So I can understand. That was a bad I one. can understand his trepidations from that standpoint. But also, she did give him cause to pause too. Like when Cole told her that you're the you're the type of girl I'd go for, she didn't shut it down. She was like, "Yeah, I found you attractive too." That's and all fair. That. So like, That's fair. you know, you can understand like both of their trepidations in in this standpoint. Hopefully, they can both get past it. I but. I agree with that. But like, right, dude, they had the one fight about it. They had it out. She heard him out, apologized, right? And then, like, the next time they're out of dinner, he got, like, like like Steven said, got a little drunk. And then he's just like, you know what? I'm still upset about that. Yeah, like, that's exactly. where he lost it for he's me. He's not like, over it. He's just saying he is. You're allowed. If you're over and say you're over, and again, this is the sign of someone who actually hasn't been married or whatever. Like, if you say you're over something, you got to just be done with it. Like, I, even, I, if, I, even if you're not over it, you say you're over it. You can. You don't bring it up again. Like it, this. This dude. Mm. He's still very angry and justifiably mm. so. But again, maybe a guy that came on too soon, right? Like maybe you shouldn't. I, I think he's trying his best to move past it. Like that dinner that he did, like that real special dinner for her and everything in and the like, aquarium. aquarium. Yeah, which was really nice that he did. Shark that bait. He's he shark bait, dude. She said, "Beat it." <laughs> Yeah, I know. And she was like still unsure and everything. And he was just like, just tell me the truth. Just say and she's still like she no, 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 no. <laughs> see what, what he did though. No, see what you're right. He did want to know, but he didn't just say tell me the truth, but tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> yeah, he was kind of like me. bullying her into giving him what he wanted. She's like, as I feel an uncomfortable. Answer. You did a nice date. You gave me stuff. Can we not do this in front of the fish? <laughs> and let's and not forget guy. he is her second choice. <laughs> Third, so, third, third, third. Third. Okay, third yeah. Third. So, like, if they are gonna be up now when he watches like back in his head at, at somewhere, right? He's got a he knows that that was how it went down. Mm. He, there's no he way he thinks me. he, yeah, 
was her first pick. He scares me. You guys aren't wrong. He scares the crap out of me. That dude a little bit. I think the audience agrees with that too. There's a lot of comments about Matt and he's chill. Let's see what happens. Um, all right. Uh, next one, guys. I'm going to do another random one. Yeah. Obviously. Cole. And I hate the- him. I hate his. I hate him so much. I, I, dude, I, I feel the. Well, I'll start with the one thing positive. I feel bad for him. It sucks. His family it sounds horrible. They sent Bible verses last week. Now this week, <laughs> follow her on Instagram, but they won't meet her or but won't Facetime her or meet her in person until after That's the really wedding. That's weird. That is strange. <laughs> um, it's setting off signs that like they're pretty confident he's gonna say no. That's or like it's that's not gonna point. happen. I think they're ded dead. Honestly, I've been saying that I don't, but my, honestly, I just think it matters who goes first. Like, I think both of them, the couple, not the parents, right? No, no, no. I'm talking about whoever one of them. (laughs) first. Well, that is quite the twist. They were never alive. First, I think we'll say no. I think this is, this is a race to say no. (laughs) That's hilarious. He's been lying to her this whole time. (laughs) What if they, he says no, but then his parents just show up at the same time to support it. He needs to say no. Like, I mean, that whole interaction with them in the kitchen, like, he's he's a loser. You tweeted about it. He's an absolute I've, loser. I would be shocked if she didn't say no, because I think she's he's mean. strong enough to know that he isn't right for her. I hope she is. I hope she realizes that. I'm worried that she won't. He said, are you bipolar? Yeah, I mean, it's just, like, weird. <laughs> like, it's just, like, why does he say I mean, that? To be There's fair, no she never answered the question. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. I mean, do you, uh, Bully, do you don't do you like him at all? No, no, I don't like him. I like there's a lot that I like about her, although I like her. I like her. Some, she does have some like annoying OCD habits, so I can understand living with her probably be a little bit of an annoyance, but yeah, um, it's called either having a wife or being married to Brian. Yeah, we would get along. She's a little insecure, but like we're all a little mm-hmm. insecure, right? Like it's just yeah, well, he gave, her, he gave well, her to be too, though. Uh, I, yeah, when he I, literally says that she's a, the other girls are tens and you're like a nine. Yeah, I mean, who says yeah, that? Yeah. This goes back to the other couple where it's like, why are you telling her that other women are attractive? Yeah, like it's I, 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 yeah, the, the, if if you're in a relationship where that's like okay and you guys are comfortable with that kind of like being open that you find people attractive, sure, but like. She clearly isn't. So, like, <laughs> just shut up. Yeah. That's all you have to do. Just shut up. Yeah, and and when you say that you've been with that person for years, like you know them, you've met them yeah, for a week. Exactly. You can't just say they that know you're not going to go leave them for something. Yeah, exactly. Like it's, it's yeah, it's insane. It's insane behavior. Um, uh, one more, boys. Uh, Bennett and Alexa. This Brennan, poor, Brennan. this poor guy, man. He's um, I think he's gotten circumcised. I think he's apparently already signed a contract with God, a prenup with God, <laughs> and now well, you've been uh, sucked into the worst situation. Like, no, and no. now he has to sign a real prenup and get married. He looks like it from the previews. Something snaps in him. Like he wakes up and goes, "How did I get myself here? How did I wake up here? I need to get the f out of here." Hundred percent. Do you think they're tricking us with that edit? I, I hope no, uh, dude. I hope That's no. what I was wondering. I he hope seemed he too obvious. The one guy I'm rooting for to say no. He's the one guy I'm rooting for to say. He no. doesn't have enough money for this chick. This chick will bleed him dry oh, so fast. Reminds me of like a Kardashian, and like oh, that's not man. that's not even like paying attention Courtney. to what they do. Like just Courtney. Oh, let me just, just say something. the vibe is very high maintenance and mm-hmm. give let me, me everything. Say, me, this is my take on it, honestly. Like, and he he's a really nice guy with a good heart, but he's a little bit of a simp here. Let me just say, like, and I don't care how this sounds, but so the fact that she grew up with this silver spoon in her mouth and like her, like having this sense of entitlement that she needs to be treated like the princess and everything, all this stuff. I don't, I honestly, he needs to run. The fact that she's making, <laughs> he's yeah, no, like she makes more money than him. She comes from wealth. He doesn't clearly. And mm. that he's going to come out. If this doesn't work, he's going to come out on the shit end of the stick on this one. So yeah, I mean, she right. and honestly, what he says and he struggled getting girls his whole life so he's willing to settle it seems to me he so, said yeah. yes he has said yes to everything like yeah, he has. a single time in any conversation it's yes sir yes ma'am no problem it's perfect i love her more every day it, he does sound like a hostage 
He's double screwed too, right? If they don't work out, right? Because he, like he has the the Raven okay. Because like there was a comment that like she wanted the prenup for her money to like you know keep that, and then her dad says something about like oh well you know if you guys don't work out you have to like pay for her existence and yes, their kids' yes. existence run, after run. Your divorce. Like what? Can we can, run. we can we call they're that really tying? They're really like, put, they're putting a noose around this guy's neck, and it's like. I mean, he said yes to everything. Hopefully, the most important no of his life is at the altar. Hopefully, he says no. I don't even. He might not even get to the altar. Can I mean, we call that the Raven clause? Like the Raven. I like because that because she wants SK to pay for him, and then the dad's like doubling down. Like I don't care if you don't work at all, you're still paying. I don't care. Even if you make twenty seven thousand dollars a year, you you're going to pay half your salary to my daughter who makes one hundred and twenty thousand a year. Just from me <laughs> from mm. answering my cell phone for me. Like, <laughs> no, I agree. That's D E D dead. 100%. Be dead. I'm rooting for it to be dead. Rooting for it. <laughs> this was a very fun conversation. This show has um, fostered a lot of awesome community interaction as well. So we want to hear your thoughts on all of it. Let us know what you think about uh, the situation with SK and Raven. Let us know your predictions for what happens next week. And then we will be back next Wednesday night reacting to the season three finale, what we loved, what we hated. And then who knows, maybe we'll look into trying to maybe get some of the cast interviews or just reach out to some people um, who just want to talk about the show more because we love this show. Uh, check out all our other coverage this week, both episodes of Bachelor in Paradise. We're going to have Survivor, Amazing Race, The Challenge, uh, Love Boat, I think that's it this week. It's pretty good. Still a lot. Um, please check out uh, Steven. Steven, what is your stream? I'm on Twitch. It's Classy Cat Dad. If you want to watch me play Halo Infinite, I, I'm number one in Sticky Kills. Ooh. So that's in my thing. It's one of the few things I'm good at. So I started streaming. We'll uh, <laughs> put this information here in the description and stuff as well. And um, I'd uh, love to have you back, bro, for any other show that you want to watch. Maybe come back for the finale next week as well. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. This is one of the few reality shows I watch, so I was well, really excited to, to join in. We're here and serve everybody any way we can, my dude. Um, check us out, too, on TikTok as well. A lot of funny content we're posting there. But for myself, Brian, Waleed, Steven, thank you. Peace.